Well, in freshwater in, in England, you've got a vast array of different types of fisheries and, and fish you can fish for. Everything from lure fishing for pike, fly fishing for trout, there's big carp, there's fantastic perch fishing in our canals. Basically, you name it, if it swims in fresh water, then you can probably catch it here. Before you can fish in freshwater in the UK, you do need to get yourself an Environment Agency rod license. So everyone who fishes in freshwater in England and Wales needs one of those. You can buy a yearly one, or if you're only here for a short time, you can buy them by the day or by the week. If you don't, then you're breaking the law. You can be apprehended by Environment Agency bailiffs and you will be taken to court and fined. So you don't want that. It's not very expensive. So get yourself a license and stay legal. Just about every piece of fresh water in the UK is owned or controlled by someone. So normally what you need to do is get yourself a permit to fish. Now sometimes if it's a commercial fishery that's set up for fishing, then all you need to do is turn up, go to the shop, buy a permit. There's very often a little tackle shop there too and you can go ahead and fish. But if it's a river fishery or it's a lake out in the, uh, out in the woods, out in the wilds, then it's more likely to be controlled by a club in which case sometimes you can buy a day ticket or sometimes you might have to join the club or the syndicate that controls that fishing. Probably the easiest thing to do is go to the local tackle shop. They're a font of knowledge about this sort of stuff. So if you go and speak to them, not just about particular waters you want to fish, but also say to them, oh, I want to try some perch fishing locally, then they'll probably put you to the best place and tell you how to get a permit to fish it as well. The Angling Trust have got a fantastic website which is supported by the Environment Agency which is called fishinginfo.co.uk and on that you can search for tackle shops, you can search for fisheries, you can search for river fishing. Basically it's a map of Britain and it tells you exactly what you need to know as far as permits are concerned. Almost all freshwater fishing we go for catch and release so it's a way to make sure that our fish stocks stay healthy and everybody has a good time catching fish without destroying the amount of fish we have here. There are a few venues like the one we're at here today which is a put and take trout fishery where you can take the trout you catch but on the whole virtually everywhere else it is now within the law that you have to return the fish that you catch. There's a closed season every year for coarse fishing on rivers and there's also closed seasons for salmon fishing around the country. The salmon fishing seasons change around the country so the best thing to do is either look on the Environment Agency website or again speak to your local tackle shop. There's a tremendous number of anglers in the UK, there's millions in fact, and the wonderful thing is a huge number of them are members of the Angling Trust. The Angling Trust are the kind of governing body for fishing in England and they do a huge amount of work encouraging new people into angling, trying to protect our fish stocks, supporting anglers' work on improving the environment and generally standing up for anglers when there's issues raised. So um, if you'd like to be part of that, then it's easy to join and you can do that via our website.